asleep. You're asleep. Mm -hmm. Mayor, is that you? Well, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you're here. I'm sure you can understand why this is a surprise. I mean, it's been, well, let's see. 1,097 consecutive days since your last visit. You just disappeared into your house and never came back. We all thought you were dead. Well, it sure is good to see you, Mayor. I've been manning the ship as best I could, but you have no idea what it's like running this place all by myself. Tom Nook wants to build condos on the beach. Beach condos. Now that you're back, well, I'm sure everything's gonna be all right. What's that? Oh, you're just, oh, you're just popping in. An island? You mean you're just gonna leave us? Just like that, with no warning? Well, yes, I'm I'm, I'm sure I'll manage. I've been managing all this time. <laughs> Safe travels, I guess, and well, don't be too long. It's gonna be okay. Before you go, could you just do me one favor? Could you bring me back a seashell? Hi, friends. <laughs> you have no idea how much self-restraint it took not to just drop everything and spend my entire day playing Animal Crossing. But before I did anything, I wanted to come on here and do a little Isabelle-inspired look in honor of Animal Crossing New Horizons releasing today. I know some of you got the digital download last night, so it's not really that big a deal. And by the time this comes out, it's probably already gonna be out for a few days. I myself had to venture all the way out to EB Games because I actually didn't own a Switch Switch. And so I had to go and pick up all of my pre-orders once everything was in, which meant I did have to brave the outside. Don't worry, I brought my hand sanitizer and my Lysol wipes. We're good. I am a huge fan of Animal Crossing, and if you wanted an idea of just how much of a fan I am of Animal Crossing, go visit that link down below. I dare you. I never played video games as a kid. I never owned a console. So New Leaf was the very first game I ever played. And the game really helped me in this really difficult time in my life where I was struggling with a lot of things, including mental health. And obviously Animal Crossing has had a huge impact on my life. And this release meant so much to me. So I really wanted to honor it with a little Isabelle inspired makeup using things that I already had in my house. So it's not perfect, but it's the best I could do under these conditions. But if you love Animal Crossing as much as I do, then keep on watching and let's get started. <laughs> I've waited so long for this release to come out. Amidst all of the chaos right now, this has been my one shining beacon of hope. And I gotta shout it out to EB Games right now. They are an essential service. And to stay open during the plague is a huge risk to all the EB Games employees. Thank you. Being able to get our hands on this launch was extremely necessary for my well being. I have an idea. I hope it turns out. We'll just start off by doing a quick base, some primer, some contour, some foundation concealer. Also, I'm going to be filming a TikTok at the same time. If you want, you can follow me over there. I don't blame you if you don't want to. I honestly am a little embarrassed that I even have an account in the first place. But let's start with a little bit of primer. Right now, I'm currently really enjoying the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. Essentially, I'm just doing the same base that I always do. So you definitely don't have to do these exact steps for the base because it's just a normal base. But I thought I would include it just in case you also wanted to try this method for yourself. If you do want a more in-depth version of my whole base routine, I recently actually went through it in a video where I go through my very first tutorial, but I give it a little bit of an update. I will link that up here. Meep, meep, meep. brows really simple. I don't think a big ol' bitch brow will suit Isabelle very well, so I'm gonna keep it to my natural hair and just kind of give her little anime brows, which essentially just look like two little mini hot dogs on your face. <laughs> I 
have a vision of just a very simple eye, mostly yellow and then taupey yellow on top of that, just kind of following her coloring a little bit. She's got some really pale yellow and then also some deeper, more taupey yellow. That's kind of what I wanted to do on my eyes as well. Pull out Old Faithful here. Got Butter Cupcake, which should serve as a really good base. I also have E3 down here in the Norvina palette. That could also work. But first we prime, darling. Then let's take a little bit of Butter Cupcake and put that in the crease. <laughs> Keeping it pretty round, not winging it out too much. Let's jump right into E3 right here. Now to make the lid space a little bit more pronounced, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shredded. and this one's a total mess so I almost can't even show you but I'm just gonna take this yellow shade I'm just gonna take that on my finger and do one of these we're gonna do a wing but like a cute wing style of eyeliner. I think it is so adorable. I've spoken about it a couple times already on my channel, so let's do a little bit of mascara. And then let's do a touch of matte white in the inner corner. Let's do a little bit of white in the waterline. And then part of me doesn't know if I should do any eyeshadow underneath. I know that if I leave it, it's a very like cute look, but it also feels a bit unfinished to me. I'm going to ruminate on that while I do the other eye up to this point, throw on some lashes, and then we will finish the rest of the look. Lashes are on, other eye is done. I've really been loving this lash glue trick, and I don't know why I hadn't been doing it already, because it just seems so logical. If you put on a little bit of lash glue directly onto the lash line where you would place the lash, as well as putting the glue on the lash, it's like magnets, they just, stick right to each other, especially on the outer corner and the inner corner, and they just don't go anywhere. I did decide I'm gonna do a little bit under here, but just halfway, and then I'm gonna keep this space open just to keep the eyes really wide, but I do want just a little bit of definition on this outer edge. So I'm just taking E3 again from the Norvina palette and just buffing that slightly onto the outer edge. So I have this vision of doing a lot of yellow blush and then trying to do little circles of pink blush on the apples of the cheeks. So I think that's what we're going to do for blush. Of course, let's first start off with clown blush and we're going to go in with carnival. All right, now I want to take a really pink pink. We'll start off with exhilarating and we'll see what happens from there. I think just to deepen those up a little bit, I'm going to go into my Alyssa Edwards palette and dab on just a little bit of Texas Made. Then of course, what adorable look is not complete without freckles. So let's do that. I think I wanna add just a teeny weeny bit of highlighter, nothing too extreme, I don't wanna lose what's going on here, but I do want to just like boop boop a little bit on the apples of the cheeks. Let's throw a little bit up on the brow bone since we are nearly browless today. I don't want to do anything crazy with the lips. I just want to throw on a little bit of a balm and then add the teeniest bit of a pink gloss on the center. And then I think I'm just gonna give her just a tiny bit of a nose. All right, let's give her a quick little spray. And then just a tiny bit of bottom mascara just on the outer lower lashes. 
I just want to add a tiny bit more depth to the cheeks. So I'm going to hit up that darker yellow E3. Just go on along the outer edge. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, I think it turned out good, eh? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, put my wig on. And then I'm done, and then I can play Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just go throw on my wig, and I will be right back to show you the final look. Oh gosh, my bun is so high, you can't even see it. And this is the Isabel look all complete. I'm really happy with it, considering I did not go out and buy anything. This is just a really, really, really old cheap wig I had just lying around. I know it's like not perfect, so please don't roast me, especially you, Donnie, if you're watching. I did my best, okay? I just had to pay homage to my favorite game of all time. I cannot wait to while away the hours on a deserted island. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Ugh, so I'm going to go do that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't super chatty. I just wanted to throw this out there, do a cute little fun, easy look. I wanna give a huge shout out to EB Games for staying open for the launch. Everyone who worked at EB Games today was doing a huge service to the community. I'm sure nobody wanted to be there and I really hope that everyone who was working there today stayed healthy and safe. Animal Crossing is one of those games that will just help you through a really tough time and that's what it did for me. So thank you so, so much. I really wanna know what you think. Is this adorable? Is this stupid? Should I do more villagers? Please let me know. I gotta wrap this up. I have some raccoons to meet. Here are the many ways you can help out my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of all the things. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on other social media. I will leave those right there. Hit the notification bell. Why not? Sure. And go visit my Patreon. The link is down below. If you play, please let me know if you got your hands on a copy, if you bought the Switch, anything Animal Crossing, you know you can talk to me. That is it for me. Please be kind and be generous. Stay safe. Wash your hands. <laughs> We're all just trying to do our best, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!